What's going on everybody? It's Nate Matthews from NeverDenyMe.com and if you guys remember, I did a review on this bad boy right here. This is the Nike Utility Elite Duffel Bag. Quick glimpse of it. If you guys want to watch the review, click the card that pops up. We did a pack in the bag, unpack in the bag, everything like that, right? Now, this is still fire, still very, very, very useful in my uh, lifestyle. But we went ahead and grabbed the backpack this time. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so this right here is the Nike Utility Elite backpack. Very similar to the duffel bag. This is the backpack that matches with it. There is the, uh, there's like three different models. This is the, the top form of the backpack version. Just like that one is the top form of the Just looking bag. on the outside, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks like seven compartments i guess eight on top of that but there's more that i didn't know until i actually had it for a couple days after i was making small complaints like you know i wish it had this i wish it had that it has everything i need in this bag. the link is going to be in the description box so you can guys go pick it up yourself so again retail right there if you guys can see that if you don't you're not meant to see it but uh price probably goes up and down this bag has sold out a few times bought a different color i actually had the blue one of this bag then this one black one came back in stock and seeing as how you know the blue one didn't match with the the wheat duffel bag that i had i went ahead and returned the other one picked up the black the one other right side here. by the way we do have the air bubbles we do have some uh i don't know what you would want to call these little hits of uh branding but they're looped so you can actually clip some stuff to them if you want to and speaking of clips they do have a buckle right here for back support and trust me you kind of will need that because uh as much stuff as the duffel bag holds I wish it had some back support. I'll show you guys the inside first and then we'll get to the outside this of the bag. This opens. kind of only really want to open it once you have it laying down this way. Because if you open it a different way, there's nothing to really hold the compartments together, keeping your stuff from falling out. We have a shoe compartment on the bottom. We got what? One, two, three outfits up top. And let's actually unpack them so you guys can see. So I'm not going to show you guys everything here. But yeah, shirt, shorts, socks, drawers, stuff like that, right? One pair, one day same deal right here we roll it up we got the shorts shirt socks draws two same deal right here shorts there's nike shorts by the way we're gonna do a try on with the clothes and stuff like that in a bit next video make sure y'all subscribe uh same thing shorts shirt socks everything we got some shoes right here i'll be doing a review of these shoes as well with a close-up and everything try on haul these are the nike uh, it's a really long name the nike air hot step air terra nocta something like that i'll have to put it in the description or again stick around we're going to try some other stuff we have packed in here some little night gear some old draws stuff like that all right so here's the bag the inside of the bag you put your shoes here at the bottom if you don't need shoes that day or don't need an extra pair of shoes there's a flap that you can fold down it is branded on the inside it just says nike utility elite a little secret compartment right here on the side i'll show you guys this a little secret compartment i don't know what you would put in there because it's not too big maybe keys or something like that even though there's so many other places you could put things maybe some extra cash how about that extra cash right here on the side of the bag there is a strip of velcro right there now what that is for is if you uh go ahead and flip this up i didn't actually have it on that way but once you flip the shoe compartment up just to give it a little bit more stability there is a, a thing right here on the side of it i'll show you guys from this side my bad there is a thing right there on the side of it and you would go ahead and undo this velcro we'll stick it on right there and then on this side where you guys might be able to see we'll get the velcro and we'll stick it on there and that right there is going to give us a little bit more stability as they say supposedly right for our compartment right here on the other side what do we have just a net compartment perfect size uh maybe you put like a laptop or something like that in here if you wanted to but when i show you guys the rest of the comp compartments you may not want to put a laptop right here so we're packing the bag and unpacking the bag just like the last one right so we'll start off with the shoes by the way this uh from what i've seen so far uh it's only going to fit like lows and mids any high top stuff like that it's not going to fit so we'll go ahead and pack these right here on the side There we have it. Keeps your shoes away from your clothes. And then again, just like I said, enough for three, maybe even four outfits. So I could comfortably fit 
three outfits in here. Would you guys think I can fit another one? I would say nah. Probably so three outfits and whatever else you might want to put on the side right here. You know, extra clothes right there. You close it up and there you have it, right? Now, I'm gonna show you guys the other compartments on the bag. So to start off as well, let me show you the handle, matter of fact, since we're at it. So you can actually hold the bag like this if you want to. You can hold it from the top if you want to or wear it like a regular backpack as it's meant to be worn as. Uh, I think I showed you guys this already. If not, here is the buckle for the back support. And this is also adjustable so you can slide the buckle up and down, you know, if you chose to do that. So now let's get into the compartments in the front. I'm gonna show you guys what I got in them. You guys can put whatever you want in them, of course. First pocket right here, the Velcro enclosure. I just got some small stuff, uh, pocket knife, multi-use tool, screwdriver. I also Can have a carabiner. I'll leave this out for now. I'll show you guys what I use that for. With this bag, we have a netted mesh area right here to put something, I guess, if you want quick access to something. On top of this netting area right here, or behind it, I'll say, we have another thing. And for me, this is like my little medicine thing right here. So we got some pills right here, inhaler, and maybe even a cough drop or two down here. Let's see, thought I had one, oh well. But yeah, small little pocket right there. Next area right here is pretty big. You could put uh, quite a few things in here for me. If you guys seen the video I did of this, this is where I put my uh, Bose speaker. Click the card that pops up. I did a whole review on this speaker and I actually compared it to another speaker I have as well. We did a whole sound test and everything. You guys probably subscribe to my channel from doing this speaker review right here. So anyways, that's where I keep this speaker. Perfect size, that almost looks like it was meant just for this, this is the, the perfect size for Only thing I have it in there right now, but to show you guys why I have this carabiner, let's flip it over to the other side. Now, where most people might put a water bottle, that is where I would choose to put this speaker right here. So let's go ahead and load this up. Nice fit right there. Perfect. And then I just use the carabiner to go ahead and clip it into the section right here. And then I lock it onto the bag itself. Just in case, you know, I'm just hiking, I'm running around, you know, it, it ain't gonna actually fall out of here too easy. And due to the fact that it has a mesh pocket right here, uh, it doesn't stop any of the sound from coming out of the speaker. So it sounds amazing. I would play some music right now and let you guys see how it sounds and how I carry it and everything, but we don't wanna get copywritten. So right, now flipping over to the other side where we took up the water bottle space, right? Well, if you still wanna put a water bottle in there, you can actually fit one on this side right here. Um, on the outside, we do have, I forgot, I did measure this before because I do embroidery and stuff for those who don't know. And we're gonna be making some embroidered uh, Velcro patches to stick right here. So that's the perfect spot. So um, cool thing about this is right now it's kind of flat, so you can't put too much in there. But on the side of the compartment, we do have a zipper. So if we open this zipper, and not only does it go down to the bottom, it goes around at the bottom. There it is. There's more mesh in there. So I don't think I have a water bottle on hand, but trust me guys, we can uh, we can definitely fit a water bottle on this side if we wanted to. Right now, since I don't have water bottles, we're gonna do some self promotion. I'll show you guys what I got in here right now. We got some embroidered uh, patches. So if y'all need something like this, holla at the kid, you know what I'm saying? We do, we do quite a few things here. Neverdeny.com, link gonna be in the description. Perfect, right? All right, so let's get into the rest of these compartments. I've showed you compartment number one, compartment number two with the medicine and stuff, compartment number three with our speaker. And this uh, bottom one right here has one right there and then there's another zipper and stuff on top. So I'll show you guys the one on top. And what do we have in here? We got a couple electronics and gadgets and stuff like that, right? So we'll start off with the PS4 controller, PS5 controller, whatever you want. We got our Ulanzi STO3. There's gonna be a link in the description for this as well. Right now I have my tripod and everything to record this video, but on the go, I don't need to take my entire setup. We use our handheld one right here, and I can actually record from my phone. If you guys wanna see that too, we record off of this bad boy right here, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So compared, uh, pairing these two up together go great for the high definition videos, everything like that. So again, we also have this right here. I'll show you guys what this is in just a second, but we'll actually set it up right now, actually. So it's a little flip compartment thing like that. It goes up so we can work on the go. We'll put that right here. And then we just have a couple 
USB cords and stuff like that. One that is visible and noticeable to everybody else. This is kind of where I can put toiletries. So we got a couple toothpicks right here, uh, deodorant, we got razor, show you all that, razor. And I think that's kind of all we got right now because toothpaste and everything in the other room. So yeah, a couple things right there, right? So again, we're packing and unpacking the bag at the same time. So I'll put that away. We'll put this away. I'll keep the other thing out for now to show you guys that. A hidden compartment on the side of the bag that's not accessible from the inside. It's really on the side of the bag. So in there, we do have our tablet. This is the Samsung Galaxy uh, S8 Plus tablet right here, right? And then I just set this on this stand. That's kind of how I, uh, you know, work mobily. So we got the to do some work right here. I can connect the PS4, PS5 controller to it. Start playing mobile games and stuff. If y'all want to add me or watch the mobile gaming, uh, card that pops up or link in the description or follow me on Instagram or all the above how about that so this is what we got our setup right here so again we're packing and unpacking so showed you guys our bag right here or our tablet we'll tuck that in there and there's actually plenty of space in there so this is I forget the size of the tablet I think it's maybe 12 inches and as you guys can see the top of it is right here and it still goes up way up here so it does and I have actually tested this out it will fit a full 15.6 uh, inch lap laptop as well because I also have a Samsung laptop um, that I use in addition to the tablet so we'll go ahead and pack this back up as well and we'll throw it on our back real quick after I show you guys the last secret compartment that I found so far there's also another hidden compartment up here at the top now inside do I have anything in here right now don't think so outside of uh, I do have a USB so USB stick for mobile doing stuff on mobile like I can record this video right now on my full, uh, I guess, uh, camera, full size camera. I could take the footage, put my USB stick, uh, or put the memory stick in here, and then insert this into my phone or into my tablet and work on the go with the full video editing program on my phone. And if you guys are watching this video right now, just know that this video is going to either be edited on my phone or on the Samsung tablet as I showed you. So there's a, a little bit of space right here. It uh, doesn't go in too deep, but I guess it kind of does a little bit. It goes all the way up to my wrist. So if you guys want to see the length of that, my whole hand goes in there. It is pretty wide. I think it's meant for putting like uh, your glasses or something like that because the inside is a very soft material. So it's not going to scratch any of your stuff. So you might be able to put your glasses or something like that in there. The link that I have right here that I connected, there is plenty of links all along the bag that you can connect things to. They're just all across the entire bag. So you can connect a lot of things to this bag, guys. They're all around the whole side. It, it is great. I love this bag. Let's go ahead and throw it on. All the compartments are closed up. We got three outfits. We got a pair of shoes. We got some toiletry stuff. We got stuff for mobile gaming. We got some medication. We got some multi-tools there. We got everything we need. So this is how it looks when it's on, right? Let's go ahead and buckle it up real quick. There we have it. And can't scoot back too far, but this is what it looks like when it's on and it's fully packed up. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys like it. I know I love it. And if you guys are watching this video, that probably means you were interested to begin with. So it is very, again, cushioned up, cushified, whatever you want to call it. Feels great. And I think it is a very nice thing to go with this duffel bag as well this duffel bag video i can tell a lot of you guys love this and as i told you guys i do believe this is the best colorway in the game this is the weak colorway however when i got this duffel bag i thought you know i figured hey this is enough space to hold plenty of outfits as well i don't really need a duffel bag and a backpack but as time went on I love this duffel bag so much, I said I gotta get the backpack for smaller trips because I don't always need to take this with me everywhere, even though this always has, you know, also has the cushion and all that. I don't need to fully, as you guys can see right now, the bag has some stuff in it, but it's kind of smashed down because it's not nearly close to even being full at all. So sometimes when I don't need that much stuff, that is uh, when I can use this backpack. So that's what this backpack comes in handy for. Again, if you guys found this video helpful, I really do hope you guys have subscribed to my channel uh, and like the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And make sure you guys stick around because like I said, the outfits and stuff, or not really all the outfits, but the shoes, we got more shoes on the way. We're gonna be doing some try on hauls and stuff like that. So catch you guys in the next video.